When you write an electro house track, there are lots of additional little details you need to insert. Stuff like little sweeps and cymbals and random little noises and stuff. And while it may look a little bit random where you place these, there is some logic and there is some structure behind where they go. And in this tutorial, I'm going to explain what that logic and what that structure is. First of all, what I think I'll do is play through the track with all the little additional details and then I'll turn them off and show you what it sounds like if they weren't there to show you how important getting these additional details is to make the whole track flow and sound like it needs to sound. So with everything in there, And I'll turn them off to show you the difference. Like so. See what I mean? Those additional details are absolutely necessary to make the thing sound complete and also to guide you through it. And there are three concepts surrounding where you place these additional little noises. First of all, you need to have something placed on the downbeat. The downbeat is the first beat in a section. It could be the first beat of a bar, the first beat of a two bar section, a four bar section, an eight bar section, a 16 bar section. It's that first kick drum and you need to place something there. And in this example, I've got the three most common things to place on this downbeat. A cymbal. A reverse effect. And also there is this bass sound. Again, extremely common in EDM and especially in Electro House. And you can see looking through this arrangement, I have these sounds on lots of different downbeats, but they all do happen on a downbeat. On this channel here, the symbol is happening on the downbeat of a four bar section. On this channel, the reverse sweep is happening on the downbeat of a two bar section, as is the bass one shot too. The next concept is the concept of a fill, which is something happening at the end of a section. For example, here on this channel, there are some snares acting as a fill. It's a fill because it's happening at the end of a section, in this case, a two bar section. See how the snares happen at the end of that two bar section? There is a classic vocal fill on this channel uh, uh. happening at the end of a four bar section. And similarly elsewhere with some other little noises like these sweeps I made. In that case at the end of an eight bar section. And then the final concept is something that doesn't have a proper name as such, but some people call it the 248 rule or the 4816 rule. And the idea behind this is for all the little additional details, you have some of them repeating every two bars, you have some of them repeating every four bars, some of them repeating every eight bars, and similarly for 16 bars. This gives your track great structure and it's a tried and tested technique that people have been using for years and years and years, and to be honest, it just works. You can see in this track, the bass repeats over a two bar division, as does this reverse noise here. The cymbal repeats over a four bar section, whereas the vocal one shot and the reverse sweeps repeat over an eight bar section. And it's these three principles that together provide the structure for the large majority of electro house tracks. Something on the downbeat, something happening as a fill at the end of a section, and then this 24816 structure. 